Welcome to this video tutorial on how to align your plots in the layout editor. So you may have a bunch of populations in the workspace that you would like to create reports for. The easy way to add plots to the layout editor is to simply drag and drop the plots or the populations that you have in the workspace into the layout editor. And when they initially come into the layout editor, they will all be aligned such that everything is correctly aligned vertically and spaced evenly. However, when you start moving plots around, perhaps arranging them in an order that uh, may make more sense for you, um, in terms of a workflow or you want to show progression of one cell type to another, oftentimes you'll end up moving these plots around, nudging them one way or the other, and you may end up in a scenario that looks something like what I'm doing here, where I've got a bunch of plots that are kind of scattered throughout the layout editor, and they're just in different positions, and nothing looks uh, nice and orderly. So what you can do here to uh, align the plots, there are several different types of tools. You can do a Control A, which will actually uh, highlight all of the plots for you, or you can go about them singly like I kind of did in the beginning there where you just hold down the control or the command key and click on each plot. Once they're selected, you'll see the, the black corners here on each of the corners of the plot. That means that the plot is selected. And if you go to the Arrange tab within the Layout Editor itself, you will see a bunch of alignment tools. So if you want to do vertical alignment here, make everything kind of align towards the top, you click on that button. It's very much like what you would see in PowerPoint, right? Everything now is aligned at the top. And then, of course, you can change the, uh, the spacing between these graphs. As you can see here in the middle, there's a fairly large gap between these two plots. And then, of course, there are some narrower gaps uh, between other plots, it's unevenly spaced. So you can make this uh, evenly spaced by going to the horizontal alignment button and go ahead and clicking there, and then you'll get a nice arrangement of your plots such that everything is equally spaced. You also have other tools here to align them again towards the bottom or towards the right, etc., so that you can set up a series of plots in a lot of different ways. So maybe we want a couple of rows, you know, we've got a couple of plots down here. Let's just go ahead and add a third one so we can kind of look at some of those other tools. All right, so now we have a series of plots here that maybe we want in one column going you know, down. And what we're going to do there is go ahead and align left first. And then what we'll do is go ahead and adjust the vertical spacing so that they're all evenly spaced. And then what you want to do with the second column, right, we kind of want to do the same thing. We want to align left and then do some vertical spacing here. However, because there's more distance here between the latter plot on the right versus the one on the left, the vertical spacing is going to be a little bit different. So the trick here is to go ahead and click off, right? pick these two plots here so that you can make sure that those two are going to be aligned properly. And then you can either align these guys to top or repeat that process where you go ahead and make sure that the vertical uh, spacing is good. So now you have plots all aligned quite nicely. There is another tool that you can use um, to help you quickly uh, group or align your plots. If you don't like to use the alignment tools here underneath the Arrange tab, if we go back to the Layout Editor, I'll just create another layout and kind of keep those populations in the workspace selected. There's another tool here called the Grid Tool. If you go ahead and select this guy and then click and drag in the layout editor itself, this will create a grid. And from here, you can simply drag and drop your populations onto the grid. Now, I recommend that you target the upper left quadrant or the upper left square, and then that way all of the other squares will kind of get filled in. Your plots will come in here, all arranged, aligned, um, you know, so that. Uh, it's easy to manage. You can move the grid around and you can actually get rid of the grid if you don't like it as well. So you highlight the, uh, highlight the grid, right click on it, and you can say extract cells from grid and that will remove it from, uh, will remove your plots from it. Now you'll notice that the plots here will not have the axes labels. 
So if you would like to retain the axes labels by using the grid tool, what we'll go ahead and do is repeat the process, but in a slightly different way. We go ahead and we create the grid by clicking on that grid tool. Then we go back to the workspace, drag in our plots, but do not target the grid. We actually miss and just some area off target there. And then what we do is we go ahead and drag our plots, again targeting that upper left quadrant or upper left square. Now when you drag in your plots, you will notice that you have all of the axes labels as well as the little legend that goes down in the bottom. Thank you for listening.